Diabetic foot ulcer. Foot problems are common in people with diabetes. They can happen over time when high blood sugar damages the nerves and blood vessels in the feet. The nerve damage, called diabetic neuropathy, can cause numbness, tingling, pain, or a loss of feeling in feet. It can present with neuropathy, peripheral vascular disease, or both. Reasons or why it occurs. Due to loss of protective sensation in nervous system. Inadequate blood supply. Disturbance of protective epidermis which permits infection, that too in presence of hyperglycemia. Where can we see or sights? Plaques of callous skin develops on pressure points such that plantar aspect of foot metatarsal head, tip of clawed toes. Ulcers can be seen in neuropathic or neuroischemic. It occurs in margin of foot. But how? By compression of foot due to ill fitting of shoes. It occurs in medial aspect of first metatarsophalangeal joint, MSP joint. Styloid process of fifth metatarsal and tip of toes. What is the classification of diabetic foot? Medjet's classification of diabetic foot. Grade 0, foot symptoms like pain, only. Grade 1, superficial ulcers. Grade 2, deep ulcers. Grade 3, ulcer with bone development. Grade 4, forefoot gangrene. Grade 5, full foot gangrene. What are the features can be seen in clinical settings? 1. Pain in foot. 2. Ulceration. 3. Absence of sensation. 4. Absence of pulsations in foot, posterior tibia and dorsalis pedis arteries. 5. Loss of joint movements. 6. Abscess formation. 7. Changes in temperature and color if gangrene present. Investigations. Blood sugar, urine ketone bodies. Blood urea and serum creatinine. X-ray of part to look for osteomyelitis. Pus for culture and sensitivity. Doppler study of lower limb to assess arterial patency. Angiogram to look for proximal blockage. Ultrasound of abdomen to look status of abdominal aorta. Glycosylated hemoglobin estimation. What are the treatments? First of all. Care of feet and diabetic. Control the hyperglycemia. Control diet and change sedentary lifestyle. Control obesity. Take regular medicine such as hypoglycemic agents. Such as metformin. Or insulin. Regular checkup for fasting blood sugar and HbA1c. If wound present but uninfected then do daily dressings. If wound present in moderate condition then start antibiotics, detected by pus culture and sensitivity such as flucloxacillin plus metrondiazole. If it present in severe condition then prescribe piperacillin plus tazobactam with surgical debridement. Also, do not forget to give these drugs, evasodilators, pentoxifilin, dipyridamol, low-dose aspirin. Do amputations if condition presents with gangrene. Level of amputations has to be decided by skin changes and temperature or Doppler study. Let's follow the latest series. You will get interesting information and facts. Thank you for watching. Please like and follow Body Capsule.